Hello everyone and welcome back to BE iLab channel. In this tutorial, we'll dive into the segment Anything Model or SAM, released on April 5th by Meta. If you're eager to discover the capabilities of SAM and make a strong first impression, you're in the right place. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now is the perfect time to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Ready to explore the power of the segment Anything Model? Let's jump in! SAM stands out as the world's pioneering massive scaled, promptable, interactive foundation image segmentation model. It introduces a groundbreaking approach where users can upload images and interactively prompt SAM through clicks and bounding boxes. SAM, with its unparalleled capabilities, can segment a diverse range of objects at various levels of granularity whether it's the entire object, a specific part, or even a subpart. Addressing the challenge of obtaining a sufficiently large dataset for training a foundation image segmentation model, SAM recognizes the scarcity of labeled images with segmentation masks on the internet. This model not only presents a robust network architecture, ensuring a genuinely interactive AI experience, but also takes a bold step by open sourcing the most extensive image segmentation dataset ever seen comprising an astonishing 11 million images and 1 billion annotations. This move marks a historic milestone in the field of image segmentation. Now, let's delve into the intricate architecture of SAM, revealing the mechanisms that set it apart in the realm of image segmentation. At its core is the image encoder a robust component that takes in images of specific sizes and transforms them into a 64 by 64 multi-channel feature map with 256 channels. Next in line is the prompt encoder, a crucial player in translating prompts, be they in the form of clicks, bounding boxes, or text, into a list of vector embeddings. The real magic unfolds at the max decoder layer, where the image embeddings and prompt embeddings seamlessly merge. The outcome? SAM generates three segmentation masks, capturing segments at different depths, the whole, the part, and the subpart. Why three masks? SAM's ingenious design enables it to handle prompt ambiguity, as seen in the example of a scissor, by generating masks for the entire object, two handles, or just one handle. Training SAM is a meticulous process. The authors calculate intersection over union or IOU scores for each predicted mask against the ground truth, with the mask boasting the highest IOU becoming the anchor for computing the loss. For training the mask output, SAM employs two potent losses, the focal loss and the dice loss. The focal loss is a variant of cross entropy that assigns higher weights to challenging examples and lower weights to easier ones. Simultaneously, the dice loss gauges the overlap between predicted and target segments. But SAM's capabilities don't end there. It predicts the IOU score for each of the three masks, introducing a layer of self-awareness. This prediction, trained using mean square error loss, equips SAM with its confidence score. In the SAM architecture, the image and prompt embeddings operate independently. They derive from separate heads of the network, with interactions occurring solely inside the mask decoder part. This design empowers the image embedding network to generate rich and expressive embeddings without relying on prompt context. Moreover, SAM leverages the ability to cache image embeddings. The heavy-duty vision transformer-based image encoder, with hundreds of millions of parameters, operates on a cloud-based GPU server when a new image is loaded. Meanwhile, the rest of the architecture, comprising smaller networks, runs interactively in the browser, reusing the cached image embeddings. Thanks for joining us on this tutorial. In the next video, we will dive into the SAM installation on your system and how to use this amazing model for satellite image segmentation. If you found this tutorial valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting content. Stay curious and we'll see you in the next video.